out there if if the Canelo fight just can't happen? To be honest, that was my motivation fight. You know, uh, it, it, it's crazy and it makes me laugh uh, with all the antics that Canelo is doing and saying in the media and, and whatnot. Terrence Crawford's aspirations to fight Canelo Alvarez have hit a wall, causing waves of controversy in the boxing world. What started as a potential mega fight has spiraled into a war of words with Floyd Mayweather joining Crawford to mock Canelo for what they perceive as his reluctance to take on Crawford. While Canelo is busy promoting his upcoming fight, he's already stirring headlines with confrontations within the boxing community. Recently, His Excellency Turkey al Sheikh, a prominent figure in the boxing world, disclosed that he had approached Canelo's team with a proposal for a fight against Crawford. Canelo expressed some interest, suggesting that it would be an easy win for him if the financial terms were right. However, Al Sheikh later announced via a post that he no longer had any interest in pursuing the event, leading Canelo to respond indifferently, stating that he wasn't actively seeking the fight. This situation escalated when Al Sheikh turned to social media, criticizing Canelo for allegedly pursuing only easy, showy fights. As tensions simmered, Terence Crawford entered the scene, dismissing Canelo's $150 million price tag to fight him as an excuse. Crawford argued that if it was all about business, then Canelo would jump at the chance to make easy money by fighting him. If I'm easy work, you take all that money he's offering you, Crawford retorted during an appearance on Sean Porter's Asterix the Porter Way Asterix podcast. He laughed off Canelo's antics, pointing out the irony of Canelo dismissing him while having fought smaller opponents throughout his career. Canelo's been fighting smaller guys his whole career, making his own catchweights for years, Crawford said highlighting that Canelo fought a smaller Mayweather, Amir Khan, and others under similar circumstances. Crawford's criticism of Canelo didn't stop there. He mentioned that Canelo wouldn't make as much money fighting someone like Edgar Berlanga as he would by facing him. Yet, Canelo continued to make excuses. Crawford slammed the Mexican star for demanding a $150 million payday to fight him, suggesting that this only proves that Crawford poses a serious threat to Canelo's legacy. I'm a threat to his legacy, Crawford declared, emphasizing that if he were truly an easy opponent, Canelo wouldn't hesitate to take the fight. According to Crawford, the fact that Canelo wants such a high price tag shows he's worried about losing to a smaller fighter who has moved up in weight to challenge him. Despite the public back and forth, some in the boxing community are skeptical about whether Crawford should pursue a fight with Canelo at 168 pounds. A well-known boxing trainer and cutman, Bob Santos, weighed in on the matter suggesting that moving up to 168 might be a step too far for Crawford. It's a lot to ask of Bud to go to 168, Santos said in an interview with Asterix Boxing Scene Asterix. But he has earned the right to try it. Santos noted that Crawford's recent performance against Israel Madoff wasn't his best. And while Crawford has earned the fight based on his career achievements, he's not sure Crawford can replicate his previous success against a much larger opponent like Canelo. With the prospects of a Canelo versus Crawford showdown looking bleak, Crawford has plenty of other options if he decides to stick to fighting at 154 pounds. The newly crowned WBA super welterweight champion has his eyes on several potential matchups, including Sebastian Fingdora, Virgil Ortiz Jr., and Jermel Charlo. Crawford indicated that his first choice would be Fundora if Fundora doesn't end up fighting Errol Spence Jr., Fundora, who holds the WBO and WBC Unified Super Welterweight titles, presents an opportunity for Crawford to win the bulk of the titles at 154 pounds. The IBF championship in the division is held by Bakram Murtazaliv. Securing the undisputed title at 154 pounds would elevate Crawford to historic status as the first boxer in the four-belt era to claim undisputed champion status across three separate weight classes, a feat he has already achieved at super lightweight and welterweight. While Crawford is open to these fights, his frustration with Canelo remains evident. He has all these excuses why he doesn't want to fight me, Crawford said, highlighting Alvarez's excessive demands for money as a clear indication that he's a threat to Canelo's legacy. It would be crazy for a guy that started at 135 to come all the way up to 168, no catch weight, and dethrone you, Crawford added, suggesting that Canelo is afraid of what such a loss would mean for his career. The situation is further complicated by Canelo's recent clash with Turkey Al Sheikh, 
the very individual who made the Canelo versus Crawford proposal possible. With the eagerly awaited bout now postponed, much to Crawford's chagrin, the pound-for-pound -pound boxing sensation still has several opportunities available if he stays at 154 pounds. In a candid conversation, Crawford mentioned that his primary motivation to keep fighting is the prospect of facing Canelo. However, with that fight now in jeopardy, Crawford may need to shift his focus to other big names in the sport. Despite the drama, Crawford remains one of the most accomplished fighters of his time, having cemented his status as a four-division champion and one of the most compelling figures in boxing today. As the possibility of a Canelo fight fades, Crawford has been urged to pursue a mega fight with Jerron Boots Ennis. Bernard Hopkins, a legendary fighter, has voiced his opinion that the greatest battle right now would be Crawford versus Ennis. I would want to make Crawford versus Boots Ennis in Philadelphia. Hopkins told Asterix Fight Hype Asterix. Make that today because I believe any other fight past those divisions going up to Canelo is not realistic. Ennis, who has attracted significant attention in his early professional career, has built an impressive record of 32 wins without a loss and has already become a world champion. In his latest bout, he successfully defended his IBF welterweight world title for the first time. Hopkins believes this fight would be a true test for both fighters, a super fight that fans would love to see. At 147 pounds, Crawford and Ennis have both frequently talked about fighting each other. However, as Crawford has moved up in weight to make history, the fight never materialized. Hopkins remains confident that if Crawford and Ennis were to meet in the ring, it would be one of the most significant fights in recent memory. Tim Bradley, a former world champion, also believes that Crawford could defeat Canelo Alvarez at 168 pounds despite Crawford's recent showing against Israel Maddox. Bradley, much like Sean Porter and other supporters of Crawford, was struck by Crawford's performance against Madoff. He believes Crawford not only dominated Madoff, but also tamed him, even though the fight was more challenging than many expected. Bradley expressed concern about the weight difference, noting that taking a punch from a powerful hitter like Canelo could cause hesitation. The weight definitely concerns me, Bradley said emphasizing that all it takes is one punch from a bigger puncher like Canelo to make a difference. However, he also noted that someone as serious and dedicated as Crawford has a good chance of causing an upset. I give him a damn good chance of upsetting Canelo, Bradley added. He acknowledged that Canelo would be the favorite, but he still believes Crawford has what it takes to win the bout. While Crawford's performance against Madoff wasn't his best, Bradley still saw enough to believe that Crawford could be a threat to Canelo. However, the possibility of a Crawford versus Ennis fight remains more realistic, given their size and weight class similarities. Crawford has spent years winning against older, less skilled opponents, but a fight with Ennis would provide a fresh challenge and the opportunity to solidify his legacy. As Crawford considers his next move, the boxing world is buzzing with speculation. Promoter Eddie Hearn has repeatedly mentioned Canelo Alvarez during the lead-up to Crawford's fight with Israel Madoff but what initially appeared to be a casual remark turned out to be more significant, prompting Crawford to address the issue decisively. Crawford didn't hold back his disapproval, calling out the British promoter for being disrespectful. I thought it was disrespectful for Eddie Hearn to lie and say we had to use your name to promote the fight, Crawford said. He made it clear that he had effectively dismissed any queries about Alvarez, stating, We didn't use Canelo's name to promote anything. Despite the heated exchanges, Canelo remains focused on his upcoming bout with Edgar Berlanga, scheduled for September 14. However, speculation about a possible bout with Crawford, orchestrated by Turkey Al Sheik, has overshadowed this matchup. The event promoters are eager for Alvarez to finalize and advance this fight, yet the Mexican champion is hesitant, preferring to see the bout happen on terms he deems fair. Alvarez, who boasts a record of 61 wins and two losses, pointed out that he didn't demand the Crawford fight. I'm not asking for that fight, Canelo said in a conversation with Asterix Papa. Come Asterix. I think Teofimo Lopez deserves it more than me. The possibility of a Canelo versus Crawford fight remains, but it hinges on Turkey Al Sheik agreeing to the $150 million purse that Canelo has requested a sum that Al Sheik doesn't seem inclined to provide. As Alvarez prepares for his fight with Berlanga, the boxing world continues to speculate about whether the dream match with Crawford will ever materialize. Meanwhile, Terence Crawford has been urged to now pursue a mega fight with Jerron Boots Ennis.
The greatest battle right now, in the opinion of famous fighter Bernard Hopkins, is versus Ennis. Hopkins told Asterix fight hype Asterix. I would want to make Crawford versus Boots Ennis in Philadelphia make that today because I believe any other fight past those divisions going up to Canelo is not realistic. Ennis, who has attracted a lot of attention in his early professional career, has built an impressive record of 32 wins without a loss and has already become a world champion. Hopkins believes this fight would be a true test for both fighters, a super fight that fans would love to see, as Crawford's potential matchup with Canelo remains uncertain. A fight with Ennis might be the next big thing. With his impressive record and growing reputation, Ennis represents a significant challenge for Crawford, a challenge that could redefine his legacy. In the midst of all this, promoter Oscar De La Hoya has shifted his perspective on Crawford's chances against Canelo after witnessing Crawford's struggles against Madoff. De La Hoya initially believed that Crawford's superior skill would outmatch Canelo, even at 168 pounds. However, after watching the fight, he now thinks Alvarez would triumph due to his size and talent. I actually thought Crawford would beat Canelo before I saw him fight Saturday against Israel Madoff, De La Hoya said. But after watching that, it changed my mind. The bigger, better man will always beat the good, smaller man. As the dust settles, Crawford can now shift his attention to other champions in his quest to become undisputed in three different divisions. Whether he ends up fighting Ennis, Fundora, or another top contender, one thing is certain Crawford's journey is far from over, and the boxing world will be watching closely to see what happens next.